Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard here. Hey, uh, today I'm on the Tennessee River, way back up in a cove, real shallow water. Uh, the surface temperature right now is 50 degrees, and I'm seeing what I've been wanting to see back up in some of these sloughs. And I've done scope two or three out, and I'm seeing shad. Now, here it is January, folks, and the water temperature stayed around 50 for a while. Now, normally in January, we'd, the water temperature would be around 44 degrees on the average for this time of the year. But because of a lot of rain, a lot of influx of water that's bombarded the Tennessee Valley, I'm going to fish a pattern. It's not really a pattern. I'm going to fish the conditions today, and we're going to see if there's some bass up in thin water. What I mean by thin water, a foot and a half to two foot of water is where I'm going to focus my efforts. It's uh, something I've done a lot in the past, and I believe it'll work today. Stay with me. I've done seen two or three gizzard shad flip back up in here. Uh, I tell you what, this is what I look for. Now, remember, the situation is I'm up on a flat back up in a cove. Now, this cove is suited for spawning fish you know, in the springtime, folks. This is... This cove is a long ways, the back end of this cove is a long ways from deep water. But because of the all the rain we've had, there's gonna be some fish back up in here. It's a condition that I've fished for many years. I've, I write all this stuff down back when I fished in tournaments. And I have done well uh, on several occasions fishing this way real thin water and uh, today I'm gonna fish believe it or not with a zoom trick worm right here a black one is my choice because it's so overcast in fact y'all may have to get your rain jackets on today fishing with me because they're giving 60% chance of rain which is okay that's just part of the sport the main thing is for me to catch that first bass. Once I do, they've had it. Now I'm fishing this bait on eight pound test line, red Cajun line, and I have another rod rigged up back there with 12 pound test. I'm gonna ease up here. Now, now what I'm doing right now is looking. I know there's shad in the area, okay. I see some fish, they're right out in front of us, folks. Now these bass is in about a foot and a half of water and there's a school right in front of me. Now remember the temp, the water temp, is 50 degrees on the surface. It's cold and that's the reason why I'm gonna fish this trick worm. Even though they're active, right there they are. Oh my goodness, let's go in there and catch one. There's fish folks. He hit it. See how big he is. There he is. Now that's some skinny, skinny water right here. He ain't that big, but it's the broke we broke the ice right here. Yep. Now he is a fat chunky. Y'all look how this fish is built. Like a little football, he almost looks def <laughs> deformed, don't he? Oh, me. But he was <clears throat> in water so shallow that when I set the hook, I see a mud bowl. That's how shallow they'll get. Let's let him go right here. He's cute, though. Look at him. Him did. Let the little feller go. He's humpback or something. <laughs> it's just the type of weather that we've had that's caused these fish to get up here like this. But I, I made a 
cast right in the same spot that fish bit. Let's see if there's another one laying out there. And the key to this, I think, is real slow. The water's still cold. 50 degrees, that's pretty cold. And I'm just moving it, oh, six inches at a time and just letting it sit there. Almost dead sticking it. There's a fish. I see the mud kicking up, it's so shallow. Now a big bass boat, folks, can't get back up in here. Look here, what a fish. For water this thin, and I'll show you how thin it is. Let's get a net on this one. I knew that's a pretty good fish when I set the hook. Look here, it's a good bass right here and I'm gonna do this right here I'm gonna give you an idea of how shallow this water is it's a good bass yep my big bass boat can't get back up in here you have to have a John boat to do this I needed my other my 15 foot tracker it a real it's a flat bottom it'll really get up a lot shallower than Bessie here but today there's given 60% chance of rain and I built a deck in it and it's wood and then I didn't want it to get I don't like to fish with Bessie well, that's a good bass ain't it let's let her go right here Going back. now here's a net right here this is a fray bill net I'm gonna stick it right here okay that's how deep the water is from right here to here that's about what 18 inches but see I'm throwing up into about a foot of water when I set the hook even though it was a long cast I seen the mud bowl now that's shallow and that's why I'm using this eight pound line and this long rod so I can get a long cast out there because this is weightless so I really have to put a lot a power into it to get it away from the boat far enough uh, to not spook. They're not going to get close to this boat. That's what I'm saying. It's a very, very slow way of fishing. See, I'm just barely moving it in that thin water. Letting it lay there. It's not a dead stick. A dead stick or stitching is a little bit different what I'm doing right here. I'm kind of doing uh, presentation between dead sticking and working it back it's right in between but I'm just letting that bait lay there and then I'm moving it letting it lay there and it's a slow way of fishing you have to be very patient when you're fishing shallow water like this uh, and then you have to of course, be confident that sooner or later you're going to get that bite. And you will if you stick with it. But I have caught some really big fish doing this under these circumstances. Even though it's a long ways away from deep water, these big bass will stray back up into these spots like this. There's a fish. Mmm. That's a pretty good one right here. Pretty good fish. <laughs> Let's get right over here. See how big he is. Oh, he just he ain't that big. That water's so skinny, every one of these fish feels big, folks. Oh, y'all can't see it, but I see the mud boiling right where I hooked him. This is a, that is a fat fish, healthy. Now that is a chunked up fit. 
That just fell out. I was lucky to get that fish right there, folks. Right there, and it's hard not, as I'm having to fish, you know, real quiet and stealthy, it's hard to get these bites and water that, that shallow. I'm stuttering. But, uh, ain't that pretty. Let's let him go right here. Ah, I love it. Let him go. Going back in there large, y'all. Let's see if we can catch another one. There's fish. There we go. I was fixing to leave and that messed up. Showed yourself. Come on in here. I just grabbed my other rod right there, folks. And <laughs> oh, man. I flip him in the boat. That's a pretty good one. It ain't no giant, but shallow as this one. I tell you what, I love this stuff. What about that? Just fixing the leave, and he messed up by showing himself. Go on back in there, boy. What about that? They, you never know when it comes to fishing. I was absolutely pulling out of this shallow water. So we can crank up and leave because it's getting on up there. It's getting real shallow. Getting real shallow. Getting real overcast. See, I didn't got. Let me make one more cast right back there. What about that? Hey, there's a fish right out there in front of me. They're starting to show themselves a little bit. Let's see if we can make him bite. I believe he did. Got a fish on here. What about that? Yeah. Y'all messed up when you start showing yourself. Y'all wasn't doing that <laughs> all day. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, folks. Oh, man, let's flip him in. <clears throat> this rod's got 12-pound line on it instead of eight. I picked up the right rod, didn't I? Ain't that pretty. That's just how quick it'll happen. When the fish gets active, they get active. Well, I'll be done. Go on back in there, boy. Now, I dare another one to show yourself. Folks, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Uh, it was a tactical way of catching fish. Extremely shallow. And uh, it works if you fish the conditions. If the conditions are right, these fish will jump up here shallow. Now, we didn't catch a big one today, but I have caught some big fish doing this in the past. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. And the most important thing is...